Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're back with another video on the channel. And today we're going to be doing some more computer craft. Now, this ed this video won't have any editing in it because I don't have an editing software at the moment. I'm still working on that. But, yeah. Let's get into the video. So in this episode, as I've promised in past videos, we're going to be checking out blackjack so first of all there's the actual game of blackjack I have here which if we run 21 as you can see I start with a card and that's whether it's black so you can tell whether it's a blackjack um, then there's my total if I go hit you can see we got I got another 10 and my total is 20 so I'm gonna stand and my deck is that and my total and that's the dealer's deck and his total and so it's a tie now I'm gonna run it again oh it's 21 go hit go hit and stand and the dealer went bust so I went so I can do that once more. I see there's an ace. I'm gonna choose eleven this round. If I go hit, I got a two, so I'm gonna still have it as eleven. I go hit, got a ten, so I'm gonna have it as a one. Um, stand. I still need a fix some bugs in it like I'm probably just gonna change the ace code but there's the main code and the, the deal I lost now if we edit it you can see here's all the decks which pretty much mean you can only ever have each card once like you can't have two you can't have three no you can't have three blackjacks so here that's just this bit at the top then we um, get the card for each person and then uh, yeah that's done this this bit here pretty much I have the system that means if it gets the c it gets the card and then it does this loop and it keeps getting another card or it keeps getting another and another card until it finds a card that isn't already been used for the dealer or the player and then it uses that and then it just adds the little arrow there and then it does that for hit and then for stand it j oh, it does that and then it checks for the blackjack and it checks for the ace part and then it works out the total by cycling through each one and checking if it's a ri if the card is in the player's deck and then it t if it's over 21 it goes bust and then we have, if they go stand, it prints out each card in the player's deck and it works out the total. Then it gets, if until the dealer's total is 17 or above, it keeps on getting another card. Then it prints out the, if the dealer gets blackjack, it prints it out. It's also the player, if the player gets blackjack. And then it prints out all the dealer's cards and then it works out who won or it works out if the dealer's bust and then there it works out if you win and then it just exits the program so that's the main code it's a bit confusing but there that link right there I'll also have it in the description that's the link to the blackjack project folder on pastebin now in here 
I'll also have this. We have the card API. Now we have two functions here. We have clear, which just clears the screen. And then we have one that prints it. So you put in your x and y coordinates. And then you put in what characters there. With this one, it's one. Then you put the suit, which is in car. It's kind of like Unicode. It's just a. It's just like slash and then a number like it might. Or backslash and then a number like it might be black slash three. To make a heart. And then you put the color of the card. So if we. Oh, it also. One other thing is it also grabs this background card shape and when you set up the API you are going to have to go paint card and then you're just going to have to paint the shape and to make it easier to get the size you can just go edit card and that's 5Fs by 5Fs with all white in the middle which is 0 and f is black so we go exit then we have the actual test so we load the API then we redirect it to the screen so it doesn't print it on the screen like the actual computer then we run api.clear and the good thing about this is it actually gives suggestions so didn't give it this time but hope it will give it this time ok I think I have to run it now it will give API suggestions like there's the dot clear and there's draw card so we're going to print another card at the coordinate 7 and 7 no 7 11 then it will have a th it will be a jack um, it will be a jack of hearts so that's slash three in the description I'll put all the different suits and then we have colors dot red so if we run that, um, should have come up there. Don't know why that hasn't. Oh, that's that's why. I need to remove that because it redirects it to the monitor, and then we go term dot redirect and we redirect it to the original back to the original screen there there's another card and we we need 7 plus 1 and 11 plus 1 because I still want my 7 11 but we can do that so you can print cards with this um, as you can see, if we change this, it can be a 3, it can be a slash 5, and it can be colors dot, oh, colors dot black is just 0, I think. No, it's a, a lot. Colors dot black we run that we have um, a three of spades so that's really the card API it just I'm gonna I'm at the moment I'm working on it incorporating the card API into the blackjack that's why it's part of the blackjack project and that will be up soon I'm also going to be making a video later on on not in Minecraft just in real on just a regular computer in real life on um, how to emulate old arcade games so stay tuned for that 
but that's going to be it for today guys I hope you enjoyed sorry about the no editing at the moment I'm still working on that and I will see you next time